What's up guys, Parker here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can show message boxes to your users. This is awesome because if they're doing something like refreshing the data or running a Python visual, you can actually pop up a message to them so that they can see um, whatever you wanna say based on some logic or criteria. It's actually pretty cool. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So right now you're looking at a screen as I'm refreshing data. I've popped up a message that says, thank you for refreshing. So once you click okay, It'll go ahead and finish the refresh process. So that's using this, uh, this message box as a Python script. You can also do it as a Python visual. So if I have a Python visual up here and I click this run button or change a slicer selection, anything that would run this Python visual, I have set it to uh, pop up with a message box, that, message box that says Python visual rendered successfully. So it's a really cool idea given that, let's say, maybe you had some criteria that said, hey, if they refreshed at a certain time or a certain day, you can, uh, you can render a message box that says something, or if they do something else, you can make it say something else. So it's actually totally dynamic to whatever you wanna say. So I'm gonna go ahead and run you through how you would set this up as first a Python script and then a Python visual. So let's jump over to the query editor and I'm gonna show you where my Python script is located. Uh, also, if you haven't viewed the running Python scripts in Power BI video that I, um, that I created a few months back, go ahead and check that one out. Check out that card that should show up right now. And also, if you haven't checked out the introduction to Python visuals, check out that video as well, because that will give you an intro into how you can set up Python on your computer and get this working correctly. So I have some fake data here. We can look through the steps. Basically, I just typed in some numbers. And then I get to this run Python script section. I'm gonna open up this Python script. It's actually just two lines of code, so that's awesome. All you have to do is import a library and then call one function from that library. So when you want to install that uh, library, uh, as you can see, we're importing win32 API. What's surprising is the name you actually install is pywin32. So your command is py-m pip install pywin32. So when you click enter, it'll go through the download process. It'll install that on your computer. Once you have that installed, you need to hop back over to Power BI, type in import win32 API, and then win32 API dot message box parentheses zero, zero, uh, will stand for how many seconds until that message box pops up. So I want to pop up instantly, so I type in zero. And then your message, I'm, I put thank you for refreshing. So we can change that to whatever we want, like BI Elite Rules. And then the title here is just the title of the message box. So I'll call that title of message box. So as I click OK, it'll run through that Python script and you see, oh, that was from the old one. I have an error here. Let me go ahead and take a look at what I did wrong. BI Elite Rules, I lost my last, uh, my last tick mark. So now to run through that Python script and we see BI Elite Rules. And there's actually gonna pop up a few message boxes while in the query editor because it's running through multiple times. Make sure you click on data set so that you are selecting the data. It goes through this last step. And when we close and apply, It'll go through those changes and it'll pop up with BI Elite rules. The one thing to note is it does pop up twice because whenever you run a Python script, it actually runs it twice. So once in the run Python script section and the second time when you're actually selecting the data set to show, it actually renders twice. So we do get this message box that says BI Elite rules. It has title of message box, just like we want. When we click okay on the second message box, it'll finish refreshing. So the, uh, that's how you do it with a Python script. It is a very similar method with the Python visual. So just so you know, I'm gonna go ahead and create a slicer here with my one column of data, just so I can be changing some things around to run this Python visual a few times to show you that it is running every time we change a slicer selection. So bring in a Python visual, throw in some uh, data into the values well so that you can start typing. And it's the exact same code. So import win32api, win32api.messagebox0, and then whatever you wanna say, Python visual rendered successfully is what I wrote, and then the title of the message box. So as we change a slicer selection, 
it'll rerun this um, rerun this Python visual and there's your message box Python visual rendered successfully it's actually not rendering successfully because I don't have any code to plot anything but we could easily uh, put in something to plot like I mean we could uh, import as in the Python visuals video that I created import matplotlib.py plot as plt so down below we can just do plt.plot and we'll just do random numbers plot two and three then plt.show so now it'll actually render something correctly so if we run this it should pop up with that message box saying python visual rendered successfully once we click ok it should render with an actual graph so that's pretty cool it allows you to be a little interactive with your user there are actually a few libraries that will allow you to pop up message boxes to users but i found this one to be really easy given that it's only one line of code to import it one line of code to actually pop up that message box so if you like this video make sure you like the video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and i will see you in the next video